Cabinet shelves coming along pretty well. I went ahead and swapped out that nasty OSB for this one by. Countertop is just about done. I gotta get a final sand on that thing, but I think I am gonna throw that thing in here today. Probably gotta hit that window again. Very happy with the progress I'm getting done here today. And I gotta thank the beautiful weather for that. It is just, it is awesome out today. It's gotta be in, in the 60s. Getting some great progress done on the bus here, guys. This nasty sink, I gotta clean that really well. Yeah, this is fantastic. And that is super cool, man. Oh yeah. Put a back bevel on that, guys, to uh, get up against the ceiling. Give me enough room to curve around. So it looks like I got I to gotta make some kind of notch here around there. Maybe around the uh, speaker as well. Try to make that as smooth as I can. And I'm probably going to go with this and then uh, just caulk the rest. Caulk and paint mixed with it ain't. And you're good. And that's going to be fine, I think. That looks nasty as hell, doesn't it? Well, no, there we go. Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty good. I can caulk right in there. And I can still back cut this one. Still back cut this one a little bit. There we go. Now. Probably go two and a half here. Two and a half, two and a half. on the face for the cabinets is basically the layout I got going on super simple extremely simple I am gonna go ahead and flip this over though and do the pocket hole jig deal um, those Craig jigs are fantastic if you haven't worked with them once you get the hang of them they are extremely convenient and uh, it, it makes you look really good not that I'm going for uh, above and beyond on this I just have the right tool for the job and it's a little bit cliche that everybody uses the Craig jig on their school bus, but it really does do great work. That countertop actually turned out like really nice. I keep looking at it thinking it's a door, you know, kind of gives me an idea. Kind of gives me some ideas. Maybe I should put one on the front here. Solid inch and a half wood. That is very, very cool. I really like that. I really like how that turned out. Not that it's done yet, but anyway, I'll get this thing screwed together and maybe even shot into place tonight.
it is. Excellent. One step closer to shore power. Let's see what I need to do that. stick if it, it would heat up it was like super cold and it was like in the garage I think it was even colder in there <laughs> that's where it's gonna go cool that's the first step towards the bus having heat can't believe it the bus has really come along in just like one week's time but I have to go build a deck the bus might be sitting for a bit <laughs> 